We are back with another Pokemon Go Halloween adventure, and this one's going to be good. We have an amazing lucky trade. We have eggs to hatch, new shinies, research. It's going to be good. Let's go. We're going to be starting this adventure off with a crazy egg hatch opening. We have 12 eggs to hatch, nine event seven kilometer eggs, and three 12 kilometer eggs. It's going down. Let's get to it, ladies and gentlemen. Who knows how this is going to go? Seven kilometer egg, number one, starting off with the mask. It can be shiny. That's a good hatch. I like it. Event egg number two is a phantom. I like phantom. That's fine. 12 kilometer egg are coming up. We got a Pancham. I'll take a Pancham. Back to the event eggs. Gallet. I like Gallet. Halloween egg again. Yeah, mask. Could have been shiny. Back to back Halloween eggs. Noibats. That's our first Noibat. I feel like these are going to be the hardest things to hatch. That is the main shiny we're going for. Let's try to make that happen. Gallet. I would say my biggest goal for this egg hatch opening is to get shiny Noibat. That's going to be such an amazing shiny. What do we got next? Another Phantom. I don't know how many we have left, but another yeah, mask. Okay. No glare in your mask yet. Here we are back with the 12 kilometer eggs. Okay. You know, just the worst thing possible. And coming down to the final eggs, we got a gallet. I'll take it. This is the last 12 kilometer egg of the batch. Another pan cham. And that'll do it for those eggs. Let's go and get an IV check. Your mask, two star, not bad. Gallet, two star, not bad. Gallet, two star, not bad. Gallet, three star, not bad. Pan cham, two star. Noibat, two star. Phantom, not bad. Phantom, two star. Your mask, two star. Pan cham, two star. Follow me was pretty good. Your mask, three star. And that's it. Okay. What a crazy way to start off this video, but what an even crazier way to start it off. I just got invited to a Mega Latios raid. Okay, so I'm sure the whole world is confused right now. Can I get in this, please? Imagine. No. Okay, so if you want to know how this just happened, obviously this isn't in Mega Raids right now. Right now, Safari Zone Taipei is going down, and Mega Latios and Mega Latios are in raids right now. So that's going down. I don't know if that was announced or not, but that's pretty awesome. So hopefully we get more of those invites. And with Safari Zone, we have a new time to research. Now, you want to claim this while you can. Didn't have much time, but all you had to do was, I think, a walk five kilometers to get it all done. And we have Finneon encounters. Now, Finneon is a brand new shiny Pokemon. Pokemon Go. And I would say it's not really much of a common spawn. So this is a great way to get this brand new shiny that's kind of being secretly released. Finion number one, not shiny. Finion number two, no, so not shiny. Okay. Let me know in the comments if you guys did get shiny Finion. That's a super rare shiny to get right now. Finion check number three is not shiny. Only three checks left. Come on, man. I'm not going to have really many opportunities for this. Finion check number five, please. We got nothing. We got our final check. Finion, not shiny. LLL, I tried. Ladies and gentlemen, new legends will be born. Today I'm going to be telling you guys about a dope game called Bloodline Heroes of Lithus. So it's an RPG fantasy world with incredibly detailed graphics, where you can build your own kingdom, collect champions to defend it, and my favorite part, you can create your own legendary champions by combining bloodlines with dragonborn, orcs, lichens, and so much more. If you haven't tried Bloodline out yet, now is the best time to do so. It just had its biggest update ever that introduces a new hybrid system where you can create over 800 different hybrids hybrids when you combine any two bloodlines. There are so many possibilities. And definitely don't miss the special Halloween event that starts on October 27th because if you participate, you'll be able to get a champion from the all new Vampire Clan, the Accursed, for free on the seventh day. Oh, and by the way, if you use my download link, you can get a special starter pack that's worth $20 that gets you 100,000 gold, 100 diamonds, and 10 energy potions. I am hooking y'all up. I genuinely love the concept and visuals behind this game. I'm a big fan of it and hopefully you guys will be too. So so check it out. Download it for free using the link in the description or scan the QR code that's on the screen. Go check out Bloodline Heroes of Lithus today. Good luck out there. And now we have a lucky trade, and this is arguably the rarest lucky trade I'll ever do slash I've ever done. We're gonna go ahead and hop in right now with my buddy James. This is gonna be pretty good. Actually, really good. Okay, so we're gonna be trading away the new shiny Chandelure. Very useful Pokemon, very dope. We love it. And we're gonna be trading for Clone Venusaur. Maybe, maybe, because I might wanna trade for Clone Blastoise. I'm trying to see which one looks cooler, but these clone Pokemon are some of the rarest Pokemon to ever come to this game. They were around in February of 2020, a long time ago. They've never been back, and they look awesome. And let's go ahead and trade for one. So there's Clone Venusaur. It does look very cool, but let's let's see what Clone Blastoise looks like. And there is Clone Blastoise. It is really cool, but it doesn't have as much detail or difference, I think, as Venusaur. So I think we're going to trade for Venusaur. I actually still have a few of my own clone Pokemon from way back then. Let me know in the comments if you guys have them. Let's do it. Clone Venusaur Lucky Trade. This should be an epic, epic hundo. It's going down. Lucky Trade. Here we go. All right. Lucky Shiny Chandelure Trade. 2297. Sounds good. Okay. 
three star nothing crazy i tried it looks cool i will say the last time james and i traded at this park i did get a schlundo kyogre all the way over there the luck is definitely here 1928 clone venusaur i don't know i didn't even look at the cp is this gonna be good it is okay 93 percent iv 15 attack lucky clone venusaur one of the rarest lucky trades i've ever done this is one of the rarest pokemon in the game actually that's pretty awesome here's all my clone venusaur i have three of them obviously we have the one we just lucky traded that's awesome i have this other one it's a two star and then we have another one that's also a two star here are my clone charizard i only have two of them i don't know why i only kept two but i have this three star 93 percent also very cool and then this two star not good one i think charizard is the coolest one out of all of them i'm a little bit biased i know but that's amazing hopefully we can lucky trade for that and i only have one blastoise clone i probably should have traded for blastoise right there we only have one of them it is a three star it is very cool these clone pokemon are so rare again let me know in the comments if you guys have them that was fun and i'm glad i did that i want more you guys know how much i love this halloween event it is my favorite event by far and we have a lot of research to move through let's go ahead and move through what's most important the timed research because this does expire stage one is done spinner rack let's work on this and then we can also work on special research joltik for no reason And the third encounter is Dupider. What is this? Our next encounter for stage one, Ariados. Why did I buy this? It'll probably get better, but I don't like the bugs. And then we also have the Mysterious Mask Special Research, and that's gonna be some good stuff in here. 40 Great Balls. This is an amazing special research and an encounter with a your mask finishing up stage two of the mysterious mask research give me all that dust give me that xp and another encounter with a galarian your mask oh by the way speaking of galarian your mask if you guys haven't seen the last adventure go check it out your boy clutched up we got a shiny galarian your mask and i've been pretty lucky with this event so far so obviously we have the shiny galarian your mask which is amazing but we also have this i got a shiny shuppet from a research task live on stream i was streaming pokemon go walking around a park playing the halloween event as i do shiny shuppet that I renamed Prime because it was a Prime gaming stream. I mean, it's not often that you get a shiny from research. Even for me, I play all the time and I can't get one. Oh, and speaking of events, I should probably get this out of the way because I've just been waiting for so long. Let's evolve more LOL because this Pokemon is going to be a Pokedex entry. This was out during that Festival of Lights event, which was okay, but this is a brand new Pokemon, Shinotic, that we're going to go ahead and evolve to and we're probably never going to see this again. It's a 96. Is it worth keeping? Let me know in the comments. Probably not, though. I was doing laps around the park so I can hatch more eggs and I totally forgot. Why don't I pop my daily incense? Let's get this going. And our first spawns a shuppet not shiny and another shuppet not shiny spawn number three is a pump kaboo okay spawn number five merc row no okay and i just despawned in my face that's cool very random dunspar spawn no shiny teddy ursa spawn this is actually a teddy ursa nest which is amazing you guys know how much i love teddy ursa and it's a great way to prep for community day we got teddy ursa community day coming up in just about a couple of weeks i think i just lost a mistreva spawn i honestly don't know and we got another shuppet another non shiny and an update on the time research we've officially walked one kilometer so now we just need one more and a random Dunsparce again no and here's a ghastly off the incense nah man let me know in the comments how this halloween event has been for you man I, I love it i love it oh that was a ditto that was a ditto by the way okay wow and here's another phantom on the incense not mad and now we have a fletchling for no reason not on the incense but your mask nah man i need one more of those i have one shiny from Gullfest, and i need another one for the full family teddy ursa no i really don't like getting service good spawns on the incense like the, what, what's the point we got a zoo bat we got nothing and a drifloon nah man and what could be our final spawn ghastly no shiny. And that'll do it for the incense. 16 Pokemon. That's not true. I know that's not true. I caught way more than 16. Let's go ahead and get an IV check. There weren't any shinies in there, but there could be some hundos, maybe some zeros, maybe some three stars, something like that. Doesn't look like we're going to get anything. There wasn't much weather boost, to be honest. The ditto was actually not bad. That was a fun little surprise, I'll be honest. And that will do it. There's some other spawns in there. Okay. Nah. Nothing good, nothing shiny, but guess what? Still had a good time. Imagine that.